Hi there family, comrades and neighbors. It's Jason Wyman here with another art update. Yay! It's happening! Yes, another week, another art update. I'm actually keeping my word. This week I want to talk not necessarily about art or process, but I actually want to talk a little bit about federal unemployment. A lot of artists, myself included, we get paid by 1099. We're contract workers, the same way that Uber drivers are contract workers, or the same way that DoorDash, your delivery driver, is a contract worker. There's a lot of different kinds of contract work out there, and artists often get paid by 1099s. Frequently, what that means is that when we don't have contracts or when we don't have work, we don't have money. And we also do not qualify for benefits like unemployment insurance, especially at the state level. Well, thanks to COVID, uh, the federal government actually gave uh, an extension of federal unemployment to 1099 workers. And I had the good fortune of benefiting from that when my contract ended at the end of 2020 and it was not renewed for 2021. So for the last nine months, eight, nine months, I have been receiving federal unemployment insurance and it has been a lifesaver. It has allowed me an opportunity to talk to other artists, to make work, to look for work, to look for work that I want to be doing, uh, not just jumping back into being a barista. And truth be told, it's been an amazing, creative, synergistic, generative space. It's how I was able to get Art Camp off the ground. And it's how I was able to do my queer and trans artist salons. It gave me time to work with John to put together our shop, Queerly Complex. That is literally what federal unemployment was able to do for me. I wanna bridge this a little bit and say that the federal unemployment, the guaranteed money that I was able to get every month, directly help me to be able to cultivate stuff, not just for myself, but for my community and my communities of weird, odd, and different, queer, trans, disabled, black, indigenous folks all over this country, uh, and really actually all over the world. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to do pretty massive things as related to my own art career because I would have been hopping back behind a counter just to sling coffee. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with slinging coffee. In fact, I do love a good coffee. I, lo I love being a barista, actually. And also, I love being an artist. And rarely have I had time to actually dedicate to just simply making my art. I have always had to do some sort of hustle in order to make my work the way I want to make my work. I don't mind the hustle, but God damn it, the hustle is fucking exhausting. And for the last eight months, I've literally had space to breathe and to be imaginative. And I was able to imagine a new way of doing my work. I'm not alone in this. I've heard this from so many other artists across this entire country, everywhere, that the pandemic, for as shitty as it is, has also provided us a safety net to actually be creative and to make change and work within our own communities, however it is that we want to define them. And that brings me to we really need a continued unemployment insurance, or we really need, another way to put this, is to just invest in people and trust that people, when given financial resources, will do what is needed for themselves and for their communities. I wholeheartedly believe that when given money, people will do, especially poor people, especially marginalized people, will do things with that money that make a greater impact in their communities than any wealthy person ever fucking could. I guarantee that. 
yeah, sometimes that money is going to be mismanaged. It's going to be spent on things that, you know, others are going to deem unacceptable or unworthy. And there's going to be a lot of judgments on poor people because there's always fucking judgments on poor people. Still, poor people do more for their communities than rich people. It's just true. When you don't have enough, you know that partly to be able to survive, you have to spread the love. Like that's literally how you survive is by spreading the love around and making a community. So I really want us to push harder to really think differently about how we think about funding people actually. I've had a lot of work lately in uh, writing specifically about arts finance training. And again, I've had an opportunity to talk to a lot of different artists underneath this moniker of arts finance training. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and yet again, what I hear is just give artists money. Stop having all of the hoops that we have to jump through in order to prove our legitimacy, especially for artists that are creating on the margins. I don't know that I have a policy solution to all of this. I think universal basic income is something that gets us close to that. I think unrestricted funding for artists, specifically indigenous, black, trans, queer, immigrant, disabled, POC artists is crucial to making a world in which we can actually thrive. That's really what I wanna see. I wanna see all of our communities thriving, living fully, on a planet that is actually able to be inhabitable to us. That's gonna take radical change. And I know that that's scary, but over the last eight months, maybe it's the space that I've had, but my fear is gone. I want that world and I want that world fucking now. I don't wanna wait for it in some distant fucking future. I want to create it right here in this moment, in this space and time, because if we don't create it now, we won't have a habitable world for us. It's just that plain and simple. Well, that's all I got. Thanks so much for tuning in. Ciao for now. Hey there, family, comrades, and neighbors. It's Jason Wyman here urging you on the other side of this screen to like and to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you are so moved, please share this content, or any content really, with your comrades, family, and neighbors. I really want to grow this community of weird queerdos. Can you help me do that? It's how we cultivate camaraderie, solidarity, artistry, and love. Thanks so much for tuning in and for sharing. Ciao! Yeah.